Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Salaamu Alaikum. Welcome to Johnny's Bites. It's Monday. We're back again to pick up the pieces where we left them of the weekend. I wish you well. If you're stepping out, like you heard the advisory on the weather, please pick some protective clothing. It's important that you do. Um, if your children are going to school, give them some protective clothing as well. Take them to school and ensure that they are put, you know, in the hands of somebody who will take care of them properly and, and keep an eye on them while you are still at work. We need them alive. They are the future leaders. We need them alive. This morning, I am not too happy even though the weekend was a very, very good one. Four events, young, enthusiastic Ghanaians, Nana Yao Dakwa, Noel Nuchuga, Bella Mundi, and another friend of mine. Four of them, beautiful events they had. And, and I'm inspired by the fact that they're trying to shape the minds of the next generation. So I, 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 I had a great weekend. Only to get home on Sunday evening, and I saw a video that broke my heart. Now, the video I saw took me back to 2017 when the President of the Republic, Nana Adudankwe Kufuad, at the swearing in uh, ceremony at the Black Star Square, he had given all of us an indication of what he wanted to do. And he played that video for me. The President's pledge played for me. State coffers are not spoiled for the party that wins an election, but resources for the country's social and economic development. I shall protect the public purse by insisting on value for money in all transactions. Public service is just that, service and not an avenue for making money. Money is to be made in the private sector, not the public. And measures will be put in place to ensure this. We must create wealth and restore happiness to our nation. We can only do this when we have an educated and skilled population that is capable of competing in the global economy. We must expand our horizons and embrace science and technology as critical tools for our development. We believe that the business of government is to govern. Ours is to set fair rules. We will provide vision and direction and shine the light down the path of our entrepreneurs and farmers. That is our president, so inspiring. Did you realize that our president was choking on his words, I shall protect the public purse? Did you realize it? Did you realize that our president was choking on his words and said he was going to provide leadership and shine lights in the tunnel so people can follow that, 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 yada, 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 yada. If today we are doing an assessment, can the president confidently stand at the Black Star Square again and hit his chair to say he has protected the public purse? Can he? This morning, National Service and NABCO people, they say they want to go on a, a demonstration. Can the president hit his chest to say again that he has protected the public purse and for which reason he has stuck with what he promised us? I mean, I'm not. I'm not manufacturing anything. I'm just playing the video of the President of the Republic when he swore that oath to all of us, the oath of allegiance, the presidential oath, and said he will protect the public purse. He has won an election again with his acolytes. Between then and now, has the public purse been protected, in your opinion? Has it been protected? What is the public purse? And what is it supposed to achieve for all of our sakes? And how is the public purse being applied to us? 
because it still doesn't make sense to me that I walk into a supermarket, I buy a bottle of water, I am giving a receipt that says I pay 2.5% for MHIL, National Health Insurance Levy. I pay 2.5% of whatever I bought for Get Fund. So National Health goes into healthcare, Get Fund goes into education. I pay 17.5% for value added tax, which could be used for other things. I pay 1% COVID levy, and I pay 1% tourism, uh, what you call it, uh, fees. Then when the money is deducted, the National Health Insurance um, or service providers do not have access to the money. So then they say, we are threatening to go on strike, we will draw our services, da, 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 da. Once you deducted money instantaneously, give it to me. I shall protect the public purse. I have not heard the special prosecutor on Mr. Kennedy Japan's admission that he was giving 124 what do you call it? See these dollars, I don't know, to go and give to somebody. I've not heard the special prosecutor on that. Good morning to you, sir. I want you to investigate it because I shall protect the public press. cannot be giving uh, appearance fees. No. It should not happen. My government is not the place to make money and that if you want to make money, go to the private sector. It has not shown us that I shall protect the public press does not include flying on private jets when the people don't have water to drink, they don't have food to eat, NAPCO, NSS, teacher trainees, nursing trainees have not been paid their monies. I shall protect the public press. So we trusted it. First, it started with the battle is the Lord's. And in this country, when the matter assumes Spiritual or religious twist, forget about it. Common sense flies away, emotions step in, confusion, yazo, finish. So all this conversation about our national cathedral, whether we should have given this money at this time or not, the Christians say, hey, you are touching, you are blaspheming, blah, 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 blah. What is blasphemy? People are hungry. They can't find food to eat. We are busy committing money that could feed the people to build a cathedral. When we finish building the cathedral, it will be people who have to go in there to go and worship. If the people are not around, nobody will go into the cathedral to go and worship God. The people should be alive, well, healthy, and happy to go to the cathedral to go and sing songs of praises and pray. It's commonsensical. Those who die because of hunger cannot be put in the cathedral. They will be buried. So, I shall protect the public purse. Who told us that we cannot, we are not going to buy new vehicles? And we even made a whole fuss about 27, 2007 vehicles that we're going to use. Today, can the president meet his chest to say, since he got into power, he has not bought one vehicle? There's a whole V8 carrying a chair following the president around with a driver and air condition. I shall protect the public purse. So I'm looking at what the president told us and what he is doing and in between whether or not he can beat his chest today with all the people who supported him and said, The president said, we should test him and see Ghana for Is this the test or is it a testimony or is it a trial? What is it? The president said somebody was doing the work. He's not doing it well. Moon summing share. That was the third time. Danny Dr. Atta Kennedy, he said something. And you see, the stalwarts within the MPP are beginning to speak up. If I say it, they attack me, they insult me. That's fine. Occupational hazard. It doesn't change the fact that what I'm saying is the reality on the ground. You can insult me, attack me, come and park in front of my company and insult me, whatever it is. It's okay. But you must find time to answer the questions I'm asking. That I shall protect the public purse. How have you demonstrated that? Do you hear the president these days talking about corruption? Do you hear ministers of state, MPs, do you hear party people talk about corruption? Corruption was the biggest and most used word in the 2016 era. 2015, to know, can the MPP government empower now until 2024 
beat their chest and talk about corruption. I've, I've seen budgets for 2021. I've seen budget for 2020, 2019, 2018. The word corruption is missing. The fight against corruption, it is in the mud. Corruption, it is in the mud. Because the numbers of people who, and they have been cleared, that's the sad part of the conversation. And Mr. Special Prosecutor, crime does not expire. If the president or whoever it is has cleared somebody of a corrupt activity, you have what it takes with your experience and legal knowledge and wherewithal to be able to bring that matter back to light. I'm saying if you are investigating the MCE, uh, what your nominee for corruption because he said he gave money to people to vote for him and the people did not vote for him. There are people who also participated in the regional elections recently of the NPP who have admitted that they gave monies to people and they did not vote for them. Investigate them. There is a sitting MP who has said publicly that he was given money by no less a person than the chief of staff from the office of the president. So when we see the figures that, oh, chief of staff's office, this is the location, vice president's office, this is the location, president's office, that, is that what they do with the money? They press us to collect the, 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 the taxes and then they give the taxes out for appearance fee. Is that what it is? Then he played a video of me, Dr. Arthur Kennedy. He made some very serious points in an admission. We'll come and talk about it. Play the video for me is that I have heard a lot about communication. Somebody even said communication, 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 and how the NDC lies. Sometimes our people lie too, and sometimes what the NDC people are saying is true. When what they are saying is not true, it's actually very easy to disprove it. But let me go to my question. His Excellency, Nana Adu Damkwa Ekufuadu, first inaugural. What stuck in most people's minds is, I shall protect the public peace. And then he said, those who are coming into government to make money will be sorely disappointed. In 2024, if just like 2016, the election is decided on protecting the public purse or corruption. Honorable Kennedy Japan, Her Excellency Alia Ajinima Mahama, and Deputy Speaker, are we going to do well if the election is decided on protecting the public purse? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> That is plain admission that we have not protect the, protected the public purse. That's a doctor, Dr. Kennedy speaking. He was the man who said, wrote chasing the elephants into the bush. I know most MPP people don't like him, but the truth is one. Kake, Ekome, Bako, Guda, the truth is one. I shall protect the public purse. And I'm saying that when you promise, you must fulfill. When you pledge, you must fulfill. And especially when you come under the banner of the Lord to say the battle is the Lord's. We were made to believe. We sang, oh ye, I sang, Papa Bia Mati, oh ye, we sang gospel song. The battle is the Lord. All shall pass. This to blah, blah, blah. We, blah, blah, blah. Today, we are not seeing it. You can be like Solomon who tries to build the cathedral. You can be like David who tries to build the church that his father started. But the question is, what kind of character are you taking into the church? Your action, your character, your motive, and the consequence of your action will show in the end. How have we protected the public purse? There's a deputy minister and he played a video for me. He had a very instructive thing. That's where I want the government to sit up and realize the problems that the people have. Because when you tell people, I shall protect the public purse, you should be seen to be doing what you promised. You should not be pretending to be protecting the public purse. Play the video. We are going to change destiny. We are going to make history. We want to break the end. Today, we know what the situation is since on the ground. I will tell you honestly, if there is to be an election today, MPP, you may lose support. White is white, black is black. I will say it and tell it as it is. I am on the ground. I know what is going on. I hear what my constituents 
Yes, I say it. I know what they are saying out there in Atlanta. All over intelligentsia, middle class, lower class, you name it. Today, I'm talking about today's matter. Today, we have an 